What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went all the way through whatever route we were, battled a few trainers, I had to stop because the internet was kind of screwy, but here we are in Moss Deep City, guys, the city of uh, mosses and all that stuff. No, I do not need any uh, repels just yet, and we're going to be taking a small tour of Moss Deep and then battling a few trainers outside right here in order to get to the Ice Cave, I think that's what it was called, right? Probably, I don't even know. The Shoal Cave, that's what it was called. Now, if you talk to the little guy here, he's like, Did you know, or did you know some items can make uh, secret bases seem bigger? Try all the boards and stairs. That is true. And my little brother says that he's going to find the biggest secret base. And there's nobody else right here. Move out of the way, homeboy. Yes, uh, in a secret base, if you guys probably remember, there are some areas uh, in se certain secret bases that are ripped or you can't cross. You do need a board or stair board or anything like that in order to get uh, get those things uh, to go go through that whole place, if you guys know what I mean. The island secret or space center has been launching huge rockets. That is true. And, well, let's go right here. I think we're going to find something here somewhere. I don't even know. And, hmm, your Beelu. It likes you so much as it likes Pokeblocks. No, it likes you a little bit more than Pokeblocks. Okay. What happens if I use my... Uh, let's see, who likes me the most right now? Yeah, let's go with Swamp Lord. I could be using Sage of the Halo right here, but... Yeah, it's still in the PC. Let's go. Let's see. Hmm, your Swampert likes you as much as Pokeblocks. No, likes you. No, okay, never mind. Not even gonna do that. And if you talk to this girl, let's see. My husband, my husband measures everything based on Pokeblocks. I think he will be telling you what kind of Pokeblocks the Pokemon likes. I don't know. And let's see. Talk to this kid. Hmm. Or it's like I got this from Steven, but I don't know. Uh, I don't know what it is good for. I think it's called the King's Rock. Do you want it? Heck yes, I want a King's Rock. You're weird. You can have it, but tell Steven I gave it away. And here it is, guys. We got ourselves a King's Rock, which many of you guys already know. Evolves certain Pokemon. And it is fun collecting stuff. Yes, it is. So let's go inside right here. And, uh, well, there's nobody here. Let's see. Where, wait, wait, what's going on right here? There is a note on the plate. Classification. Pitchstone. Source. Mount Mordor. Johto. Return. Let's see. Now here, classification, Chert, Mount Pyre, Hoenn region. Let's see. Uh, let's see, classification, Shellstein, Shellstein, Mount Cornet, Sino region. Yeah, bunch of rocks. This guy likes rocks. I wonder who it could be. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Uh, well, let's see. Is there anything? Okay, I think we've already been in this. Yeah, we've already been in this house right here. Let's go. Uh, let's go towards this other part right here. I mean, Moss Deep, it doesn't really have a lot to offer, except for Pokemon Center and a space station. And if you talk to this guy, when I was young, I traveled the world as a secret base expert. Even now, I've become an old geezer. My passion has not, wa has not waned. I'm waiting impatiently for a secret base to appear just beyond that floor. Hmm, let's see. I wonder if you could do anything. It seems locked. Uh, okay, so if this has any meaning to it, I have yet to discover it, guys. And if you know something that I don't know, feel free to comment down below. Uh, Draven needs your help, you know? He always accepts help, you know? So, let's continue on right here. And, well, talk to this guy. And he's like, I'd heard from my mates in Lily Cove that, uh, the herd of Wilmer has been, has disappeared. I wonder what went down over there. I don't know. Environmentalist stuff. And all life needs is water to survive, even though it makes its home on the land. And if all life, having run its course, becomes soil and returns to the land, thus the waters of the sea are always connected to the land. That is very deep. Yes, like the very shoreline here. Oh, well, he kind of gets it. He gets it. Alrighty, he gets it. And if we grab this, we found ourselves another netball. Always useful for you know, capturing weak Pokemon. Some kind of some, something like that. Kind of like a Master Ball for weak Pokemon and all that stuff. So let's see. What is in here? Oh, damn. Okay, so it's kind of getting creepy in here. Talk like to this girl. She's like, from the time, from the time she was a small child, my older sister hardly ever spoke. Somewhere along the line, she learned to read the experiences of certain objects. And if you talk to this girl, every gym badge tells a story of a hard-won victory against a worthy opponent. 
I can look at the badge you uh, I can look at a badge and tell you which Pokemon were with you when you want it. Can I see one of your gym badges? Sure. Let's see. Which badge would you like to see? Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and try the Dynamo badge. Okay, you got the Dynamo badge with a Hariyama, Grovile, Crobat, and Gyarados. And Electric and Curlio. My whole team, you are ready for anything. Want to show another one? Let's go with the Stone badge. Okay. Trico, Ralts, Pochiana, Zigzagoon. Want another badge? Knuckle badge. Okay, you got it with Ralts, Makuhita, Zubat, and Grovile, right? And then the Heat badge. Let's see, let's see. Numo, Auron, Auron, and Sceptile and Gyarados, and Magnectrix and Gardevoir. You had a good whole team, you were ready for anything. Okay, so you can see that, you know, we were doing everything and anything. And let's see, Tippy Toes, Tippy Toes, sneaking up on Pokey Toes. <laughs> Whatever, okay. Okay, so let's move on right here, and, well, let's see. Talk to this girl. This rock has a special meaning to people at the Space Center. They put it here, they put it here as their wish for their rockets to fly safely. When you make a wish, what do you, what do you use? Do you wish upon a star? I use a wish tag to make it happen, and that's what I do. Okay, so, moving on, moving on. Holy crap, there's a lot of stuff right here. If you walk down here, you're going to be going into the space uh, station stuff. A voyage uh, on uh, a ship is fine, but crossing the sea with Pokemon is using Surf. Now, that's exhilarating. That's an exhilarating trip. Wouldn't you agree, youngster? Yes, it is. Okay, moving on forward right here. There might be a little surprise right here. There might be a little surprise. Okay, so there's nothing right here, but eventually you'll be able to find something. But this is where you'll find the space, uh, the, the rocket right there. That's something new that they added right here in Pokemon Omega Ruby. And, well, let's go to this house right here. And if you talk to this guy, he's like, Hey there, trainer! A super rod really is super! Say whatever you want, but this baby can catch Pokemon right off the seafloor. What do you think? You want one, don't you? Sure, why not? You bet, you bet! All, after all, super rod is the definition of super, and look at that. We got ourselves the Super Rod throwing out that peace sign. Heck yes. Heck yes. If there's any water, try dropping into your line and see what bites. Okay, alrighty. That's good. Always good. Okay, so... Oh, we forgot this. Found ourselves a revive. That's always nice. And... We're actually going to save the space station for afterwards because that, there's a big 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 event that's going to happen right there so what I'm gonna do right now guys I'm gonna go off screen and I'm gonna actually heal up my Pokemon and then uh, let's see we're gonna go across the sea close to the Shoal Cave so I'll be right back guys alrighty guys so we healed up our Pokemon taught a new move to a certain Pokemon because eventually we're gonna be going into the Shoal Cave in the next episode and we don't know what kind of a uh, Let's see, we don't know what kind of, uh, of, of waves we're going to be getting over there. So, let's go right ahead and start surfing our way over. And before anything, let's go right ahead and heal up, or not heal up our Pokemon. <laughs> Use a Super Repel. Now, I'm getting the hiccups right here. I'm always getting hiccups. What the hell? Okay, so here we are. Moss Deep City looking pretty nice and all that stuff. So now, here we are going into Route, whatchamacallit... Route 125, and as you can probably tell, there is a secret cave. It is Team La Squarda, La Squarda, and well, we're gonna be grabbing their flags right there. So Team La Squarda, if your if your base was shown right here, well, welcome to the the show right here. And of course, I'm not going to be battling anybody right now. Off screen, I th I think after I defeat all the, let's see, I kind of want to do it until. Jesus, like, I kind of want to do it after defeating the Moss Deep City Gym where I could start training most of my Pokemon. Because after, I would like to say, the Team Magma events, that's exactly where we're, that's where we're going to start getting, like, you know. Yeah, after, after the whole Groudon thing, that's when the National Dex is going to be coming out. So, kind of want to save it for that one right there. So, here we go, coming with the Seedra. And let's go with Swamp Lord right here. Okay. I may have picked the wrong Pokemon, but it is what it is, guys. So here we go. Let's get this Stone Edge right here. Yes, it knows Stone Edge. 
when did I teach that Pokemon that? So here we go, Stone Edge, bam, for the win. And we're gonna do another Stone Edge. Now, Stone Edge is a Pokemon, it's a move that I've been wanting to use for quite some time. It's just, it's very inaccurate sometimes, and then, yeah. So here we go again, Seedra going with the Brine attack. Trying to burn me out, but here we go. Take down attack for the win. Suck on those berries. Look at that. And, well, we, we got damage with recoil and all that. And Aaliyah grows a level 25. So does Sparky. And Raiden as well. Look at that. And it wants to learn Wild Charge. Wild Charge is a pretty good move. I just want to see what it... Let's see. 90 out of t 100. And, well, you know what? Let's go ahead and take away Thunder Wave. Don't really need it anymore. I think my main neck trick does have a static. So, there we go. Wild Charge. And, bam. Defeated this guy right here. Okay. So, let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. We're going to be training our Pokemon. And now that I'm thinking about it, I kind of want to do some side quests as well. But, got to find a way. Ahoy! I'm a buff, tough sailor. I'm brave the... or I brave the world seas. I don't know what that means, but okay. Whatever you say, homeboy. Here we go. You are challenged by Sailor Ernest, and he is going to come out with his Whalmer right here. Okay, Whalmer. You're looking like a big, beefy SOB. So, this big, beefy SOB is going to get Mega Drain. And let's see, let's see. Come on. Oh, crud. It wasn't like the last time where I had to... Oh, crud, did you just dive? Oh, dude, it was, it was, yeah. So we're gonna have to miss one attack, and here we go with a dive attack. Bam. And that wasn't very effective, but here we go with the Mega Drain. You know what, now that I'm thinking about it, I kind of want to save the Moss Deep City Gym for a little bit later, because I never, ever do this. I never travel the sea to Pacific Lock Town. Like, I never do that before I get the 7th or 8th badge. And right here, Shroomly is learning Sky Uppercut. So, let's go ahead and take away Drain Punch right here. And there we go. Sky Uppercut for the win. And, well, he's going to be using a Tentacruel. So, let's go ahead and switch out Pokemon right here. Let's go with Raiden and use that Wild Charge attack. So, yeah, I never, I never really travel the ocean. And there are a vast amount of Pokemon trainers out there that I can battle, so I think I think I might be able to do that. And this thing just froze. Good gravy. Oh, there it is. I'm trying to like, oh, it's probably because I'm getting a text message and stuff. Crud. Okay, so there we go. Wild charge. Let's go. There we go. And. Uh, Take that. Okay, you know what? Take it, take it off the internet and all that stuff. Oh, I didn't... Okay, so there there we go. And look at that. Swamp Lord grows to level 46, 47, and Aaliyah is learning a, a new move, Spark. What will it do? Let's see. Spark and Electro Ball. You know what? I'm going to forget Electro Ball right here. So yeah, I think that's what's going to happen in the next few episodes. I'm going to be just sea surfing and all that stuff and trying to... I think it's just to cover... To, to cover every every single place that way I can go to the secret bases and start battling people and just training the crap out of all my Pokemon because eventually these last two badges we're gonna be just you know yeah it's just a vital and all that stuff we're gonna be taking on team magma Groudon is in the picture you know that kind of stuff so here we go luster purge let's get this oh yes look at that Luster Purge does it again. Hit yes. And. Alrighty, okay, okay, okay. And, well, Ernest has been defeated right there, and my quality has gone up. Okay, so I guess my phone was the one that was chewing up my. was chewing up my, uh, my quality. So that is a my bad on that behalf. So, what we're gonna do right now is switch out Pokemon right here. Let's go with Latios and Shroom Lee. And we're going to be double battling. There's supposedly a strange old man in the Shell Cave. Are you on your way to meet him? Is there anything in this place like this? Or anything in this place? Wait, whatever. I didn't, mean, I didn't even pronounce that thing right. Okay. So here we go. Kim and Iris want to battle. And they're going to be coming with Alteria and Camerup. So already I kind of screwed up there. Ah, Jeebus. I 
kind of did. Okay, so let's see. We have to take the danger away from. Let's see, is Altaria a fairy type Pokemon? I don't know. It's not. Okay, and then Dragon Breath. Let's just gang up. Actually, hold on, hold on, hold the phone. Uh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go with uh, a Sky Uppercut onto this guy. And let's go with a Dragon Breath onto that guy. And let's see what happens. We'll, we'll see what happens. So here we go. And that was a good one. And oh crap. Camelrupt avoided it. And here comes a Dragon Dance, which. Okay, we're going to be in trouble right here. And here comes a takedown attack. You could have used a fire move? Ah. Uh. Okay, so we gotta gang up on one of these guys. So let's go with the camera up right here. And Dragon Breath onto you. And here comes another Dragon Dance. Good god, this Pokemon is gonna be super fast and super strong pretty quick. So that is going to be bad. And look at that. Altaria has fainted, so there goes those boosts. Now we can gang up on a camera up right here. And let's see, Aaliyah grows level 27, so does Sparky. And here comes that Sky Uppercut. And it takes Camel Rup out. Yeah, buddy. The Pokemon with two titties on its back. And there goes everybody else. Yeah! Okay, alrighty. So that's that for them. And well, we got a few other trainers right here, so we gotta take care of them before we go into the Shoal Cave. And hopefully that does it. And, ooh, an item. Mm, oh, crap. I should have put yes. So let's go with the big pearl right here. And, well, let's see. Never hurts to put on another repel right here. Yep. Okay, so let's get the heck out of here. Let's go ahead and talk to what's-her-face right here. And... Well, let's see. Talk to her, and she's going to be like, I'm tired from swimming. Are you up for a Pokemon battle with me? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am, I should say. Let's go. Okay. Tanya wants the battle, and she is coming out with her Love Disc. Now, I can't believe that Love Disc is not a Fairy-type Pokemon, because it kind of looks like a Fairy-type Pokemon. I don't know. What do you guys think? Comment down below. And here we go. Dragon, or Mega Drain, and, well, we're going to be getting a kiss right here. Crap baskets on a Crapsicle stick, so... That's not good. That is not good. And come on, Mega Drain. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so we're healed. It's all good. It's all good. And let's go again with another Mega Drain. Hopefully it wins, but here comes with its flail attack. And we snapped out of the confusion. Heck yes! Alrighty. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, buddy. No more love disc. Alrighty, now apparently if you capture a love disc, you will fall in love. It'll be eternal love, I should say. Yeah, well, you know. For those who, who have found love, congratulations. For those who haven't, there's always someone out there for you. Someone out there to put up with your crap. <laughs> kind of sounds mean to say, but yeah, you know, it, eventually when you're waiting for that long, waiting that long for to wait for somebody, then that's what it usually comes down to. Eventually, somebody will put up with your crap. <laughs> no offense to anybody, right? Again. And here we go, going up against a Staryu. And, well, it's going to be the same deal all over again. Mega Drain for the win. Look at that. Look at that. We're increasing. And there goes that Staryu. See how useless Staryu has become? And, well, it's coming out with another Pokemon. Let's continue on right here. Damn, this Staryu is looking mean. It's giving me its cockeyed look. And here we go with a Mega Drain. Another Staryu down for the count. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty, look at that. And look at that, level 40. Welcome to level 40, and Aaliyah grows to level 28. So does Sparky. Cannot wait to, to see Sparky evolve, because eventually it'll become that Raichu that we wanted. I think, I think uh, Sparky's... The one Pokemon that... Well, I don't even know when it evolves. Probably through happiness. I don't even know. So let's go right here. Battle some more trainers. And you know what? Let's go ahead and put Latios in front. Because it still needs to go to level 40 as well. And... Let's see what this young lady has to say. How would you like to take a take on the water type Pokemon I raised? 
Well, it seems like a fun, fun fact or fun, you know, idea. So let's go. She's got herself Clam Pearl. Oh, damn. Clam Pearl. Now, I remember playing the original games. Uh, uh, what was it? Sapphire, Ruby, and Emerald. Uh, the first one that I had was Sapphire. And, you know, I played a whole bunch of, like, I played it so many times. I've, you know, I've, I've restarted it, played it again, and all that stuff. And at the time, it was one of my favorite games of all time. And, you know, I didn't have internet back in the day. Well, actually, internet was like, you know, we didn't really use internet a lot. But we had to go on there, or we had to go on to, like, I guess the schoolyard to talk about where to find which Pokemon and all that stuff. It took me like about two years after getting Sapphire to find out about the Reggies. Uh, it was, what was it? It was a, uh, I guess it was out of dumbness. Like I just started traveling uh, the route near Pacific Log Town after the whole events that had happened to go find uh, Rayquaza and all that stuff. And you know, this is basic stuff that you should, you, you should already know by now, but back then I didn't even know. And it was like, wow. There are so many things that I have yet to learn. And then when I got Emerald version, it was like, holy crap, they, they just added so much more. I, and I, I guess that's the reason why, you know, well, actually, it is the reason to why I, I, you know, I'm going for the third game of every single series or region because, you know, they're more complete than the, than the first two. So that's my story for that one. Anywho, in the next episode, guys, we're going to be going into the Shoal Cave. I don't know what we're going to be seeing in here, but... Hopefully it'll be something. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.